Hi, I'm Jennifer Young. I'm a licensed physical therapist, and this is a series on osteoporosis and osteopenia. We're finally to the point where we're going to talk about um, how osteoporosis can be treated. So it's agreed that it's important to diagnose low bone density or the osteopenia as soon as you can, um, or osteoporosis as early as you can, so that you can take steps to strengthen your bones and reduce your risk of fractures. So it's important to work closely with your healthcare team to consider your risk factors and your bone mineral density and to help determine appropriate treatments to slow bone loss, cue bone building, and to prevent those fractures. So treatments may include looking at your nutrition, making sure you're getting plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, foods that include calcium and vitamin D and vitamin K and plenty of good protein, getting rid of things from your diet like alcohol and caffeine, excess salt, excess protein perhaps, um, too much sugar, sodas, or processed foods, trying to cut those out of your diet. Um, also, it's important to get specific movements or exercises in during your day. So this doesn't mean that you have to necessarily hit the gym and start lifting those heavy weights, but looking at your movements throughout your day and making sure you're getting good weight bearing at the places of low, low mineral density. Improve your posture and alignment so that as you're moving through your day, doing all those activities of daily living, that you're getting good weight bearing um, in the bones and not um, putting your bones at risk by moving in a way that's not, not helpful for your body. It's also important to um, improve your strength and coordination and balance so that you can reduce your risk of falls. So with the exercises, we're going to be looking more into this. And this might be a question that you ask your physician if you um, receive an osteoporosis or osteopenia diagnosis. See if there's a local physical therapist that they know work and have experience with working with people that have um, osteoporosis and osteopenia to get a specific um, exercise program for you. But... Um, I plan to put together some exercises too, just for examples to get you started um, in that area while you are figuring that out. So other things as far as treatments, looking at lifestyle changes, again, looking at the alcohol consumption, quit smoking if you're a smoker, or don't start smoking if you're not a smoker, um, adjusting your environment, making sure you don't have tripping hazards around your house. Um, that just helps with your risk of falls. And then also stress management and reduction. Stress does uh, play a role in how your body functions and processes the food that you eat. Um, so it's important to, to look at that piece also. Your physician will also be able to talk to you about medications if they feel like medications are would be a good place for you to um, go as far as um, for bone building or to slow down bone loss but that I think always looking at lifestyle changes movement and eating um, proper nutrition would be the first places to go, but definitely work closely with your healthcare team to talk about supplements and medications that might be helpful for you. So um, stay tuned for more, especially movement um, suggestions that you can try. But if you have any specific questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I'd love to help answer those for you. Again, if you have a good resource for um, osteoporosis in general or osteoporosis treatments, then share that with us so that we can all learn together. And um, I will see you on the next video.